right, hey baby boss, welcome back to my channel. This is a pop-up love reading for you, all right? This is for baby boss, sun, moon, rising, north node, and Venus, all right? So we're going to see who's coming towards you, what they do for work, why are they coming towards you, and what's the important message? All right, so first we're going to see your energy. How does your energy feel about this connection, this person that's coming towards you, or love in general? Okay, your energy. All right, baby boss. Let's see. Jesus. All right, the hangman. All right. So your your energy is saying you have a lot more to learn when it comes to love. Yeah. So I'm getting there's going to be a major delay in your love life because you, there, you still have a little bit a little bit more living to do, or you gotta learn something. You have to see something from this person's point of view. Now we have the emperor now. So now usually when the hangman shows up, I feel like the reason why your love life is in suspense or it's on hold is because something that you're doing, baby boss. So I feel like your higher self is putting your love life on hold because you need to understand what you're doing to someone. That's what the hangman is. You cannot understand it until you are in the same exact situation. So I feel like your higher self is about to give you some tough love. So I, I feel like you've been an emperor to someone, real nasty, cold, maybe impenetrable, uncompromising unyielding, unloving, just very difficult, cantankerous person. I feel like that's why your love life is on hold. Your higher self is like, no, you don't get love because you're being an asshole or a dick. So therefore, until you learn not to be, not, until you learn not to be a dick or until you learn, until you learn how, in how um, complicated you're being, you won't be able to find love because I'm getting your own, you're going to keep meeting people who are the emperor, just like you. So in learn, until you learn how to open up a little bit, be a little bit softer, or less macho or something like that. I feel like your your love life is going to be in, in on hold. I, I feel like you you I feel like too you keep attracting the same person. And you're not getting it or you're not understanding something. You're not understanding why you keep attracting the same energy or why you have to wait. I feel like it's because you have to literally be in that person's situation to understand them. It's kind of what I'm seeing here. So I feel like the universe is conspiring to put to make to put you in a certain situation in a certain place with a certain person so that you can experience something that you put somebody else through. Therefore, you can move forward in the relationship with them. I feel like you're not getting it. You don't, you just don't understand somebody and you need to, or maybe you don't care to understand them. The universe is going to put you in that same situation you put them in so that you fucking get it. I'm sorry. That was a long intro, but I feel like you're being, I already feel a lot of stubbornness from, from you already. All right. So I feel like your higher self, you're, you're being difficult. You're not listening. You're not following your intuition. You're not listening to your higher self. I feel like you're being stubborn, even to your angels and shit. So they're like, okay, fuck it then. You don't get love, you don't get shit. All right, so their energy, so your higher self is like, nah, you don't get to have love right now. You on hold, major hold. All right, so your energy, please, their energy. Yeah, the high priestess in reverse. See, these cards never come up inverted, but I, I feel like their, their energy is saying trust, trust their intuition and we have the tower. So... I feel like they're breaking up with you, baby boss, or they're going through a tower moment or something like that. Or I feel like somebody's going to be made aware of your tower. So I feel like if you're going through a tower moment, if you're stuck in a situation, that person's going to be made aware so that they do not help you. They let you go through that tower moment. You need to. So if you're reaching out to someone or if, you, if you're hoping that someone's going to rescue you, they're not. I feel, I feel like their, their higher self is like, no, you're not getting, you're not you cannot pass or we not helping you. I'm not, I'm not going to allow my lower self to help you because I feel like you need to go through that tower moment. All right, I'm about to get in your ass this whole reading, I see. All right. So let's see how to expedite the tower, how, how to expedite the hangman energy. What crystal can you use? All right. Because I feel like the hangman, that's, that's being on hold for, that's being on hold for like seasons and shit. All right. Until you understand what you're doing to people. I feel like you're mean as shit or whatever. Okay. Or you need, to, you need to learn how to man up or uh, uh, stand up for yourself. Maybe you need to learn how to grow into a damn emperor, okay? So right now you're on hold until, you, until you're a fucking man. You're not a man yet. You're not a woman yet or something like that. All right. You choose what sex you is. I'm not about to do that shit. But the emperor is, a, the emperor is masculine, so... Either you need to be, either you need to man the fuck up, or you need to, you need to get, uh, you need to get better acquainted with your masculine energy. Being a woman, stand up for yourself. I let people run over you and shit. All right, let's see the crystal, crystal for baby boss. All 
All right, Crystal for baby boss, please. How to expedite the hangman energy. How, to, how do you get out of the hangman? Okay, it's uh, celestite, celestite, whatever the hell this is. All right, you can read it for yourself. You can pronounce it for yourself, all right? It says, who needs it? Anyone brazenly ignoring, ignoring the consistent inner voice that actually has some good ideas for how you might better handle this whole thing called life. So I'm also getting two. The reason why you're, you're in the hangman energy is because you don't fucking listen to people. You don't take advice. So I, I feel like you just you you uh, you degrade people. You disregard their advice. You disrespect them. You're an emperor. You think you know everything and you don't. I feel like you're dealing. I feel like you're the emperor dealing with a Piscean. That's eleven. Son, this person is eleven lifetimes older than you, and you don't listen to them or something like that. Or you think you know everything, but you're a damn baby. You're a baby boss. You are an Aries. Like you're young as shit spiritually. I feel like you don't know shit, but you think you know everything. So I feel like, too, this person is trying to help you, but you fail to listen to them. So therefore, you're hanging. Shit. Okay, where to put it? As a calming, uh, adornment, wherever you meditate or pray. Yeah, so I get, yeah, I just, I guess, pray on it, I guess. Your ass hanging. All right. So this person's coming towards you, but I feel like you're going to, you're going to leave them hanging or you're going to leave things in suspense or you're going to be on the fence about something because you don't know if you're the emperor or not or whatever. Okay. So let's see who's coming towards you. I don't know. Should I call you baby boss? Or I'm not really sure how to address you because I mean, are you the emperor or not? All right. Let's see who's coming towards you. Maybe I start calling you Aries again. All right, yeah, the Six of Swords. Okay, so whoever's coming towards you, they're leaving. All right, just FYI. We have the King of Cups. I'm getting us a water sign. Yeah, Cancer, Piscean, Scorpio. Someone's breaking up with you, baby watches, period. Or they're breaking up with somebody else because of you. All right, I'm getting two. You could be waiting for someone to break up. Okay, let's move on. All right, I'm getting, first of all, whoever's coming towards you, I'm getting their white or Caucasian or whoever's leaving you. They're white or Caucasian. I'm getting, like, somebody with wavy hair, very, very wavy, long Okay, so somebody with fine hair. I'm getting like somebody who's Asian, Puerto Rican, all right, or Spanish. Okay, straight or wavy hair. I'm getting, I'm getting like somebody drives a silver or white car. All right, smooth ride. I'm also, okay, let's see what else. Not really getting too much about this person. They could be a little bit emotional. I'm getting this person enjoys wearing silver or blue. Okay, they like to drink. This is like somebody who carries like a flask. Like they like, this person likes to drink and drive. They like to drink while they're on the road. All right, let's see. The seven of wands. Wow, they're, they're very defensive. Okay. I feel like too that they're very defensive. They have a very strong personality. So this, I feel like when this person says no, it's no. Like they're just, the answer is no, just period. All right, so, um... Okay, what else about this person? I'm not really getting anything from them. So I, I kind of I kind of feel like the high priest is, yeah, I feel like this person does not does not really want to tell you anything about them. They're very guarded. Yeah, I feel like this person does not trust you. Yeah, okay, the ace of wands. You know what I'm getting? Is this for Scorpion? Or is this, this is for Baby Boss? I don't know why I just heard Scorpion, but you know what I'm hearing though? I just, I, okay, I just heard Baby Boss. Like, if you are a male watching this, I feel like that's not a woman. I, I feel like somebody's in. I feel like somebody is. Okay, <laughs> yo. All right, I'm just saying, fuck. I feel like somebody is like, like I feel like I feel like somebody has a a, a dick, a, a penis. This woman does, or this man does not like women, or something like that. Or this this woman does not like men. I feel like you're barking up the wrong tree here. And I feel like somebody knows it. Cause so I feel like baby, I feel like baby boss, like if you're 
I don't give a fuck. If you're offended by this, please don't watch me. If you're, I gotta tell the truth. If you are, if you are a, if you are gay, somebody knows you're gay. Somebody knows that you're, that you don't really like women like that. Or if you are a lesbian, somebody knows that. I feel like somebody, somebody knows that you like the opposite sex. Like they know it. It's no surprise to them or, all right. I don't know where that's coming from, but I'm really getting that from your reading. Like, I feel like somebody can tell who's like, a gay, from like a gay person from a straight person like I feel like somebody has a really good gaydar or like someone's like yeah I know you're gay or even if you're even if you're dressed masculine I feel like somebody can sense like no you like boys or whatever okay what all right anyways so I'm not all right let's move on what they do for work all right what do they do for work please Three of Wands, okay, they work overseas. I feel like somebody's in the military, they're a veteran, but they are, they're overseas, yeah, just period. Or they, they're a pilot. I feel like somebody travels for a living. I'm getting over, somebody is overseas, deployed, they're a pilot or they're a stewardess. All right, I feel like somebody is a transgender, though, I'm sorry. Yeah, we have the Two of Wands, okay, yeah, so I feel like they, they travel for a living. They're a travel agent, they're, they fly. Okay, I'm, def, I'm, I'm getting like more like, I'm getting like airplane shit though. Like they work at the airport, they, they're a pilot or they're a steward, stewardess or um, they're overseas, they're deployed. Yeah, six of swords. They, 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 tra they work in transportation. All right. I'm getting over, over a lift now. They may work for both. They, work, they, they may fucking live to the airport, go to the airport and they, they're, they're fucking stewards, whatever. But I feel like somebody works in transportation. Okay, one more, one more uh, card. So they can have two jobs. I'm getting, I'm getting, this person has two jobs. Both jobs are in transportation or they travel for, they travel for both jobs. Okay, they have to travel a lot. All right, let's see. The full card, yeah. So I feel like they, yeah, with, I feel like this person's always on the road or they're always on the go. They're always traveling. They're always gone. All right. Okay, so that's cool. They travel for work. I'm getting, they are a workaholic. They work hella hours. I mean, like, I'm getting like 12 hour days, 12 hour shifts. Okay. Yeah, they definitely have two jobs. So I'm getting like they they work a lot. They're always away. They're always gone. Okay. Okay, why are they coming towards you? Because the two of cups, because they love you. All right. The four of pentacles. Hmm. See, I think this person, they I feel like they truly love you, but they're hiding something from you. I'm getting a like, yeah. What's the what is the two what is the two of cups? The page of wands, yeah. So I'm getting two. This person was, they were coming towards you and they're not gonna, they're not anymore. Like they were going to, then they stop. Cause you discover something or you say no. So I feel like this person wants to come over, they're supposed to come over, but I feel like you put a stop to it or, cause I'm getting like you get hit to something or you find something out or they find something out. They're like, nah, I'm cool. All right, so if you're wondering, wondering why somebody goes with you or why somebody doesn't want you to come over, why somebody pushed you away, I feel like somebody does not like you. They like the same sex or something like that. Or like they, I feel like somebody relocated or some shit like that. I feel like I'm getting too like somebody was secretly in the military. They, they're, they, they're going overseas or they're moving overseas or some shit like that. Okay, what's the two of cups and the uh, thick page of lines or they were supposed to, all right? So I feel like somebody got stood up. Somebody was supposed to move overseas or take a vacation or they were supposed to get deployed, but I feel like that got that's that got held up or they're not going anymore. All right, what's the, okay, two of cups, page of wands. So it looks like they were supposed to take a trip or they were supposed to do something that got that's that got parlayed or that got delayed. Okay, we have the we have the devil card and the three of pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like you are somebody's guilty pleasure. Yeah, you you are the third party here. So I, I feel like somebody I feel like somebody wants to keep you as a third party. Yeah, the devil card, three of pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like this person wants to have a conversation, but I feel like this person monopolizes the conversation and shit though. All right, but they love talking to you because they can pretty much. Talk and talk and talk and talk and never shut up. Or, okay, so yeah, the five of swords. Yes, yeah, so I feel like somebody does. They only they only come around when they're bored or when they have nothing else to do or they're coming around because somebody else won't sleep with them or um, somebody else told them no or I feel like they're coming towards you to bitch and complain. Now this this could be a platonic friend. 
All right. So with the seven of wands, ace of wands, I'm getting it's not a sexual connection at all. I feel like this person does not even like, they don't even like boys or girls or whatever. So this could just be a platonic friend coming towards you, a selfish one, a five of swords. All right. Yeah, the four of wands. This person wants to come to your house just this. Okay, so I don't really know what's going on here. All right. So I feel like you were supposed to do something with this person, but you didn't go because I feel like you sensed something. Maybe you sensed that this person was gay or maybe you sent, maybe it was something about them that just turned you off about them. Just period. I feel like they're coming back around. I'm not really sure what for, but I feel like they really want to talk to you and may, they may say it's urgent or they, they seem, okay, let's see. But I feel like this person, they talk too much or they monopolize, they monopolize the conversation or they're very selfish or they're very sexual. You, you're not attracted to them, to them at all. All right. I feel like too, like somebody, like, I feel like you may even be gay. And you're like, man, you're like, man, you're like, I do not like you. Like, I'm so cool on that or something like that. It's like somebody doesn't get it. All right. It says playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Interesting. So you know what? You know what else I'm getting too? I'm getting like somebody wants to visit you. Somebody wants to like be your friend or something like that. I, I feel like there's somebody here that they are in the closet. They will they will never tell you this. You may have, you may, um, you may already feel like they are. Maybe it's like an unspoken thing between the two of you. So I'm kind of getting this message too. You don't have to worry about this person coming on to you for sex because I feel like they're in the closet or some shit like that. All right, what else is coming out? This is weird. All right. This person gives me like weird, weird vibes. Yeah, it says, I always look for you at airports as if we'll, as if we'll be at the same place in the world. Wow. So yeah, I feel like this person does work at the airport. Wow. So I feel like if you guys are separated, I feel like this person looks for you places like they, 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 you know, maybe they, they, they feel like maybe one day you guys will run into each other, like maybe at the same airport, you guys may be going to the same place. Maybe you guys will get into the same lift. All right. So this person, they, they imagine that they imagine the moment where you got, where you run into them at the airport or something like that. Maybe you, you get into their taxi or something. I always look for you at the airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world. Wow. So I'm getting this person could they could they could definitely be in a different part of the world than you. It could just be like a fantasy just to be with them. Yeah, I feel like somebody relocated like overseas. It was like that someone's gonna relocate. They're going overseas. Or they moved away, far away. Okay. I feel like to this person, they're going to move away without telling you. I feel like they're I feel like somebody may even move to a different country. Yeah. This could even be you, baby boss. I feel like somebody could be like asking you, like, you know. So I'm also getting to the hangman emperor. You could be waiting for official documents so that you can leave the country. I feel like somebody may want you to leave the country with them, like, you know, go to a whole different place, like, you know. All right. I think I pulled all the cards. I'm also getting two. You're going to run into this person. I feel like you are going to get into their lift or you're going to see them at the, I feel like you're going to bump, you're going to run into them. You're going to bump into them. I feel like it's going to be, I feel like it's going to be while they're getting into their vehicle or while they're getting out of their vehicle or while they're going, while they're coming into the airport, like they're coming in, you're coming out. So, cause I see them coming into the gate and you leaving or them coming into the sliding doors and you leaving. You're like, wow, wow. I haven't seen you in ages. But that might be the last time you see them. Like, 
I'm also getting too, the last time you saw someone was the last time you are going to see them. Ooh, that just hurt my heart. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to leave it there. I hope this helps you. This I'm getting sad from your reading, baby boss. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.